with Helen Godden, and we're looking at her beautiful piece, Freedom, and I wonder if you could tell me about this piece. Well, it actually started out plain black fabric, and I've painted the whole design. So I've painted the ribbons and the bird, and I've painted the patchwork, because I don't piece. If anyone knows me, I don't piece. Right. So that is painted patchwork, I call that paintwork. Ah, so you can okay. try that this week in a sentence, see how you go. Okay, paintwork. Paintwork. Thank you. So I've painted the whole surface, and then I've stitched, and then I paint back into my stitching. So I'm looking for patterns in the quilting to paint back into. And then if there's any space left, I'll do some more stitching. So this is all the quilting patterning I do here. And then I'm painting back into that quilting and adding all that extra stitching. But I'll show you the back. Yeah. Ooh, wow. So I have just a, a plain colored bobbin on the back to really show off that stitching. And when I'm teaching, um, students are often very impressed by the colour, but to then see the stitching, they learn so much from looking at the back of the quilt. And uh, just also, uh, tell me about the shading in the middle here. Well, with the bird, to get the feathering effect, I've stitched black on black, mm -hmm. and obviously it doesn't show up. I then go over with just the paint just touching the surface and it just highlights the stitching and shows up the feathery texture of the bird. And then the bird in the middle is the um, black cockatoo, it's a gang gang, and it's the state bird from Canberra. And I'm a Canberra bird, so that's, that's our She's state bird. bird. Yes. <laughs> so um, it's called Freedom, and it's the freedom that art quilting gives me compared to traditional quilting. So it sort of describes how I, I love to quilt. So Helen, this is part of your entry into what the world needs now. You want to tell me about that challenge? Sure. Please? Yeah, with a challenge like what the world needs now, I thought there'd be lots of the world needs more chocolate, the world needs peace, yeah. the world needs more patchwork shops. <laughs> I decided the world needs more orangutans. A friend of mine has recently travelled over to Borneo and seen the orangutans stuck in cages as their environment disappears. And the way she explained it was they're mining a certain chemical out of the ground that is used in the manufacture of mobile phones and that is why these animals have got no environment. So, very sad story. So, anything we can do to help is good. So, I've got the orangutan here with a little baby. It's all painted onto the um, batik background and then lots and lots of stitching. And she's had a bit of a Botox job. Oh. She's had her, her lip enlarged and her, her breast and her tummy to be nice and fat. So All right. normally we remove fat, we added fat this okay. time. Yes. <laughs> it's just a painted surface and then lots of stitching. There's lots of different thread colours in there. Um, I just love the stitching and go crazy with, with lots as much stitching as I can fit in a piece. Mm. And I also see lots of multicolor iridescent paint in the face and in the tummy. Could you tell us about that? Uh, that is a particular acrylic paint I use. It's called Lumiere by Jacquard. And they're beautiful, pearlescent, shiny, I call them nail polish colors. They're a beautiful range of soft paint that is designed for fabric. So it doesn't make the quilt particularly stiff. But through the orangutan here, I've used purples and oranges and blues and coppers and lots of different colors. Yeah, I've, I've got a, a wonderful paintbrush too that's actually got split bristles and oh. I can get the fur effect. Oh. Makes a great texture for the orangutan. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, thank you so much for taking the time away from the show to visit You're with welcome. us. You're welcome. Thank you.